Peace be upon you. In this video, we present a scientific miracle of the Holy Quran, the female bees. The first scientist to study honey bees was the Polish apiarist, beekeeper, Johann Gerzon, born 1811, died 1906. In 1838, he began studying the social life of honey bees and carried out experiments on beehives. Since then, research into honey bees has advanced and a scientific branch called melittology, also called apicology, which concerns the study of bees, was established. Modern discoveries in melittology confirm that the worker bee is a female bee, whereas the drone bee, which makes a continuing humming sound, is a male bee. It is now well known that the queen bee, which is a mated adult female, lives in a honey bee colony, and her worker bees are all females. One of the main jobs of the worker bee is to collect the pollen or nectar from flowers and fruits, store it in her stomach and transfer it to the honey-making bees in the nest. A honey-making bee is also a female worker bee living in a bee nest or a beehive. It is interesting to note that, more than 1,400 years ago, the Holy Quran has clearly identified the gender of the worker bees, which collect nectar and produce honey, as female. Chapter 16 verses 68 and 69, And thy Lord inspired the bee, saying, Choose thou habitations in the hills and in the trees and in that which they thatch, then eat of all fruits, and follow the ways of thy Lord, made smooth, for thee. There cometh forth from their bellies a drink divers of hues, wherein is healing for mankind. Lo! Herein is indeed a portent for people who reflect. In the above verses, the Arabic words used to describe the gender of the worker bee refer to the female gender. Although it might not be evident in the English translation, the female gender can be clearly seen in the Arabic words used for choose, eat, follow and their bellies. Thank you for watching this video.